If you're new to riding, there are a ton of decisions you're going to need to make after you've bought your bike. The second most important decision is what type of shoe or specifically what type of cleat and pedal you would like to ride with. Now this one can get really complicated, so I'm gonna keep it very, very simple. We're gonna talk about just the two most common types of cleats and they're both from Shimano. The one is a Shimano SPD SL. SL stands for super light. I'm gonna bring it closer. And the other one is just a Shimano SPD. We're gonna talk about the pros and cons of both, and then that will hopefully help you make the decision. Now, the first thing to note is when you buy your pedals, it's gonna come with the cleats. Make sure it does. It's a combination that will tie in together. Afterwards, you can buy them separately if you need to replace one or the other. So we're going to start with the Shimano SPD. This is the most uh, popular one for people that are just getting into riding. The reason is because it's a very small little cleat, so it allows you to have a proper shoe so you can walk in it quite easily. Now it has two bolts in here, which are made of metal, so it's a little bit more durable. It works really well when you're in the mud, which is perfect for gravel riding, and this is what we use for mountain biking as well. If you're a commuter, this is an excellent choice because it allows you to walk quite comfortably to and from wherever you're going. Now the pedal itself looks a little bit different than the SPDSL, and I'm just gonna show you the one pedal. And this is an old bike, so they're obviously very different. And there's different types of pedals you can buy as well. So now the SPD pedal, there's the cleat there. You can have them on both sides or one. They come either way. And you, you have a tension that you can adjust at the, at the back here to make it tighter or, or looser if you're, if you're just starting to learn how to clip in. Okay, so that's what the pedals kind of look like. Now the SPD SL, these ones are recommended for people that are really getting into road riding, they wanna race or they wanna do longer distances. Now the SPD SL has got a three bolt system. So it does make a difference which shoe. You can't just transfer them from one shoe to the other. The other one had two, this one has three. This is also plastic, so it's not as durable. You may need to change it more often than the other one. The, the bonus of this one is because it's so big, it has a larger contact area with the pedal as well. So more of the force will be distributed through your foot into the pedal and not lost in the shoe. This is generally what people choose for long road rides, uh, triathlon. It is uh, a more comfortable for long distance. And the benefit of it as well is that it's, um, or actually the disadvantage of it is that it's not great for walking in. As you can see, it's gonna be super slippery. So you can, you're fine to go to the bathroom, go get a coffee, but it's not something you wanna be walking in for very long. Now, both shoes, they can come in carbon soles. These ones both have carbon soles. The bonus of that is it is a bit more comfortable and it does transfer the weight into the pedal better than a plastic sole. If you can afford it, I do suggest getting a carbon sole. However, it's not necessary. Just know that you're gonna have your shoes if you get the right purchase for about 10 years. So you do wanna put some money in and make an investment when you're in a good shoe. With both types of shoes, so there's lots of different styles you can choose from. As you can see, I've got laces. This one has a boa system and there's some ratchet systems. Find something that's comfortable and works for you and then um, go from there. Okay, hopefully that helps you out with your shopping. Best of luck.